Hi YouTube, this is my aunt with another Google Pixel video. Today we're going to tackle Wi-Fi issues on the Google Pixel. So one of the first thing you want to do if you have Google Pixel, we're going to go through some easy steps that you can do to solve this issue and then we'll get to the last hard <laughs> step that you want to avoid, which is a factory reset. So the first thing you do, you want to swipe up on your menu. I'll swipe up on your phone to bring up the menu here. Um, my Wi-Fi is on this first line. There's a little gray line here to extend this. And once you extend it, if your Wi-Fi button is not here, this is the Wi-Fi button here. I'm connected to this Motorola router. So I'm going to turn it off so you can see what I'm talking about. If for some reason yours does not appear here, so as you can see, there's three dots down here. So that means I have um, two other pages. So you can swipe over to the other pages on until you find it if yours is not the first one. And if you do not find it here at the bottom left hand side, there's this little edit pencil here. So you wanna click on that. It brings you to the full menu where you can select the tiles. Of course, my Wi-Fi is already selected, but in your case, if yours is not selected, then you can go ahead and select it from these available menus. Your Wi-Fi should be here. Um, if it's not up here, you could select reset and it will reset all the available tiles that should be there and your Wi-Fi should then appear. So I have my Wi-Fi here, which is fine. So I'm going to click back on this edit button to go back to the menu. So the first thing you want to do is and also look at this network name. If this is the network that you want to be connected to, then you could just turn it off and turn it back on. I'm going to turn off my mobile data so that we can see what's happening to my internet. So I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm going to swipe the screen back up and I'm going to open this browser and I'm gonna type, it's already saying I'm offline, www.google.com, oops, mm -hmm. www.google.com. I'm hitting the enter button. So it's saying I have no internet. Of course, I know I have no internet because my Wi-Fi is off and my mobile data is off. So I'm gonna come back here and press on Wi-Fi button again to connect the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna scroll this back up and I'm just gonna go here and press, click on here to go back to Google. As you can see, I am connected on the internet again. If that does not work for you and still does not work, then the next thing you want to do is click the settings button of, um, on this menu here that we just opened. It's right here. Click on it. And you want to try on this. There's the Wi-Fi connection right here connected, but we want to go to network and internet. So go ahead and select that. And then again, you have the Wi-Fi button here. So you could go ahead and turn turn it off from here. You could also turn it off from the previous menu where we were at, but I'm going to go here to show, show you some more things. You can turn it off and then try turning it back on. And then go back to the web browser and see if you're connected to the internet, if you're getting internet service. If that does not work, then go ahead and click on the word Wi-Fi here. So if this is the network that you want to be connected to, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a simple step of disconnecting it um, and reconnecting it again. But let's say this is not the network that you want to be connected to. So these are some available networks that are near, near you. Um, your list will be different from mine for sure. Uh, if you find another network here that you want to be connected to, so you can go ahead and select that network and if it's password protected enter the password and see if you get connected if you have a network that is nearby and you have the network information you could also select add network and it will bring you here if it's some kind of private network or a name that's not coming up and it will search uh, the name based on the network name that you enter here go back some networks they have they're not um you can't find them unless you have the name. So that's what ad network is for.
All right, so let's say this is the network, the Motorola is the network that you want to be connected to or whatever it is for you um, if you're still not getting internet access. So go ahead and select settings here. And what we want to try to attempt first is to disconnect it from this menu. So go ahead and click disconnect. And then wait until it says disconnected, which, is, which it does, and then go ahead and click connect again. It's going to do its thing and then it tells me it's connected. So when that happens, go ahead and go back to your browser again. I know it's going to work for me because I um, I know I have internet service. So go ahead for you. If you're, if you're having issues, go ahead and click back on Google to see if you have internet service. And let me get back here to settings where I was. Okay. So let's say you did that. You did the disconnect and you reconnect it and you're still not getting internet service. The next thing that you want to do for the network that you know for sure you want to be connected to is to forget this network. Now, before you press forget, if this network is password protected, make sure you have the password handy because once you click forget, whatever settings you have entered for that network, it's going to be wiped off and it's going to be like you're connecting to the network for the very first time. So if it is password protected or if it has some particular settings that you need to set up, make sure you have that with you before you click forget. So I have that information with me. I'm going to go ahead and select forget. So once you forget, it takes you back to the main Wi-Fi menu page so you can select another network. So in your case, you're going to go ahead and click on that network and you're going to enter the password. Some of these passwords, most of them are case sensitive. Make sure you enter the correct password. And one of the ways that you can do that is after you enter, I'm just going to enter some random numbers here. Okay. This is not valid just to show you. You could click on show password and it will show you what you have entered. So you can go back and compare what you entered to the correct password to make sure that you entered it correctly. Once you know that you've entered it correctly, if there's any advanced options that you need to set, you can go ahead and click this down arrow here to bring you to the advanced option. Basically, I just have detect automatically and all this stays the same. And then you will click connect. Mine is not going to connect because that's not the right password. Now, let's say you've gone through this step and it does not work. The worst case scenario is to do a factory reset. And that's really the worst and the last thing that you want to do. Because if you do a factory reset, it's going to erase everything that is on your phone. So before you do a factory reset, make sure you have all the important information that you want on your phone backed up to a cloud or your Google account or upload it into your computer. If you do a factory reset, your phone's going to be like brand new. Whatever you have on it, it's going to be gone. <laughs> so um, that's the last case. That's the worst case scenario. But before you go through that, what I would do is go to a public network, such as at a Starbucks or McDonald's or something like that, and try to connect to their network. Also, power off your phone, unplug it, power it off, wait for about a minute, turn it back on and retry all of those steps that we just did. So we want to make sure if there's any little glitch or thing uh, that's being offset that we capture it. So powering off your phone gives it a chance to, to rest for a minute. So try those steps, try powering off your phone. If that does not work, make sure the modem or the router that you're trying to connect to, make sure that it actually has internet service by attempting to connect another device to that network, uh, whether it's another phone, another tablet, you know, call um, the company, make sure that, you know, that somebody somehow, you know, for sure that the network that you're trying to connect to does have internet connectivity. If you have confirmed that, and you've tried connecting at a public network and you try powering off your phone, then the last resort to attempt is to do the factory reset. I'll do another video on how to do a factory reset. So I hope you find this video helpful, useful. Like and subscribe to this channel for more videos on Google Pixel. Thank you.